Well, it's going to be great. You know, they used to give us, well, it was four hours per week up until now, and uh, that was really tough to do. But now they have 20 hours a week. Uh, that, that makes me feel great. And today being the first day, I'm really anxious. I'm sure the boys are anxious. Uh, we're ready to get out there and, uh, and get to work. It will not be an all defense practice this first practice, but there will be a lot of defense included for sure. But I am old school, uh, a lot of conditioning, a lot of running, um, a lot of defense, but not an all defense practice. That that might be coming around the corner though. When did you sketch out what this practice was going to be? When did you plan in your head what this practice? <sighs> I've kind of been planning it for about a month, meaning you know, kind of figuring the guys out, uh, trying to see what our strengths and weaknesses were over the last couple months, and then I started kind of piecing together what I really wanted to do. Uh, but every traditional first day is, is about conditioning, understanding, running, toughness, all, all the above in that first practice. There are, there's, among the people who were skeptical of you when you were hired, mm -hmm. lots of, you know, is he going to give up golf? Is he give up? One thing is, can he coach? Um, <laughs> how do you answer that? Abs, you've been coaching for uh, a long time. I mean, you were playing basketball for a long time. Can you coach? What, what does coaching consist of? Does it, is it does, is something different from what I've been doing? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know when they ask that question. I know that uh, I respect every college coach that's been here. Uh, of course, I didn't do it the traditional way of being an assistant first and then becoming a head coach. But I felt like I was paying attention to all the great coaches that I've had coach me and uh, playing at a high level and playing against the best guys in the world. You don't, you, you don't forget what to do. I mean, there's going to be situations that you get into that you're going to need help for sure. But for the most part, I think coaching is just understanding who you have on your team, understanding yourself. Understand the situation, and um, I don't think it's much more than that. You're going to be you know, matching wits with Greg Marshall and mm -hmm. Carlin and some of the best. Yeah, when I, when I went to our coaches' meeting in, uh, in Arizona earlier this year, I was really taken back because when you finally look at the entire staff of coaches uh, that are in our league, I mean, it's unreal. Like the coaches that you're going to be coaching against, guys that do have a lot of experience, but, you know, hey, you got to you got to still compete, and I feel like we're going to compete. Uh, I think I'm going to rely on them. I don't know how much yet, but uh, definitely going to take their advice because of their experience in the game. I, I'm not the type of coach that feels like I know everything and don't say anything to me. I take the advice, and uh, it's up to me to make the final call uh, on the la you know at the, at the last minute. Are you using any like strategies from your previous coaches, or are you rewriting your own play? I, I think I'm still using the things that have been successful for me until otherwise. I'm going to be studying a lot more tape. Uh, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of other teams, uh, along with our team as well, and uh, and basically, I think my biggest strength is just in in game adjustments. I'll have our team, we'll have our team prepared, but every game plan isn't going to go as planned, and you might have to adjust. And I think that's where my strength really comes into play. Penny, where is Jeremiah health wise, and the rest of the team? How healthy are you going into the game? I think Jeremiah's at about eighty five percent now, ninety percent. He's been on the court doing some things, uh, just conditioning, no pain which is great for us. And uh, we're taking everybody in healthy until this first day of practice, and that makes me feel really good. You mentioned that you're anxious. Is the first day of fall practice sort of the first sign that the regular season is here, or is, does that start way before? Today? No, I, I actually started that when school started. But to have the first day is definitely telling us, hey, it's right around the corner. Before you know it, the madness will be here, and then the first game against LeMoyne will be here. So uh, we don't have time to play around. You know, we have lofty expectations, and – we want to go out there and grind and, uh, and, and see where it goes, but we're, we're happy that today is here to get our hours that we really need to, to, to really get some good work in. Since it is here, what do, you, what do you want to get out of these first few practices? Like, what do you want to see? Well, I mean, just hard work. You know, we don't want to just, you know, just go in there and go through the motions. We want the guys to give us full attention, give us that, that work. You know, the, the culture that we're trying to build around here is multiple efforts, toughness, playing hard the entire possession that you're on the floor, no plays off. And that's what we want to see for an entire practice. Other than the new guys, when somebody comes to see you play for the first time, how much different will it be than what we saw with Tubby's system a year ago? Well, I think I'm a little more up-tempo than coach. Uh, we really want to run fast break. Not going to be too much half court. We want to get it out. We want to run. And uh, defensively, we might press more. You know, we're going to be high energy team on defense as well. I like to get the speed teams up. I don't like them to get into their rhythm. So try to keep teams off balance. So I think from that point, that'll, that'll be different. What decided to bring back Evan Olds? What went into that decision? Well, Evan, Evan earned that. 
you know, and uh, he uh, he's he's a kid that I've been knowing for a while. He and his father, he and, uh, his father and I are really good friends, and uh, I kind of put a word in for Evan last year to be on the team, and uh, um, you know he came back this year and, and wanted to play, and you know and it wasn't my place to say, hey, you couldn't come back. Uh, that's tough. Six seven PG, but. I mean, not not the not the. If I could say anybody, it could be uh, Antoine Jones. He has a lot of potential. Big guard, six five, uh, can handle the ball, can shoot. Not as athletic as I was, but he could be a, a six five point guard. There are a lot yeah. of expectations going into this year. What are some of the realistic goals from what you see with this team coming back? Well, I I think it's realistic for us to not finish eighth. I really do. I mean, I think that's one thing that I can say. I can't speak on anything else, but eighth, um, I think they understand that the, they were they were thinking that the freshmen that we have couldn't carry us, and they're really not respecting the staff or the guys that are coming back from last year. I think they finished fifth last year, and they did a great job of finishing fifth with the injury to Jeremiah and finishing strong, but I think it's safe to say that we can finish better than eighth. What do you take from Larry? Larry, he coached you. What, what, how are you going to be – what do you take from Larry? I don't know if you remember his first day of practice in Atlanta. Coach Fence was just a player's coach. You know, he, he communicated well with us. And that's so important in today's time because of the entitlement that the guys feel. They kind of got to feel that you love them. You know, back in the day, the coaches were co hardcore and they really didn't care. You just had to get the work done. But today, in today's game, Coach Fence kind of helped me understand that you got to love your players and let them know that you, you care about them. And then they'll go the extra mile for you. From who else did you play for? Have you, what else did you take from other people? Coach Brown. Coach Larry Brown was another guy that, man, he was hard-nosed when he wanted – he was a defensive-minded coach, but – he loved you so much when you're off the court. You know what I mean? He let you know how much he cared about you, and this is the only way we can win. When the kids kind of buy into your system and say, hey, th we can win this way, then uh, that's when you know you're getting across to them. Stephen Davenport, uh, last year it seemed like he put up pretty decent numbers, but it came to him kind of effortlessly. Is there any wrinkles that y'all are looking to add to this game? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're expecting big things out of Keevan this year. Um, we, we see his talent, and uh, – we're not going to overlook that. There are going to be some wrinkles that we're going to get him shots that are going to be specifically for him. Like you said, he kind of did it off the glass, really didn't get a lot of plays ran for him. Uh, but we're going to have to get him the ball this year for sure. We're going to need him to score. What's your biggest concern? Uh, just staying healthy. I think if we stay healthy, I think that's our biggest. If we stay healthy, I think that with our staff and with the guys, how hungry they are and how hard they're going to play, then it will be OK. That would be my only fear is this injury. I just, I just want to see how, how much faster we can, we can get up and down the floor. I want it to be a blur. Start off kind of slow, and then it's starting to speed up now. And by the time season starts, I want us to be a blur. I want when teams play us, and that first time out, they're, they're gassed and we're not. You know, and then that's, that's what I really want to see from these guys. I don't, they're not used to playing that way, but that's what we want to get to. If that is the case, how deep will your rotation be? On paper, how many guys will you use? Well, it'll be deep as it has to be. You know, uh, you can't say that right now. I think these few practices or these couple weeks of practices leading up will tell us more. Uh, but now it's, the, uh, it's, it's time to show what you can do because it's right around the corner. What have you learned about what you have in terms of going into it, what you thought you might have? And obviously you, you'll learn more going forward. But what have you learned so far about this? Well, obviously I didn't watch the team a lot last year. I mean, I, I didn't really know the roster as well. But uh, we actually got some guys that really want it. You know, you, that's what you want, guys that are hanging around, especially your veteran guys. They don't want to lose anymore. They want to win. They want to get to the tournament, and they're determined. Uh, and you're just only praying as a coach that you get those type of guys. The guys that you recruit, you're going to bring those type of guys in because you've seen them enough. But the guys that we didn't see and that we didn't recruit, those are the guys that are kind of the pit bulls on the team that are leading the team, and, uh, and that's what we needed. So I, I was really surprised and happy to see that, uh, the toughness that we have in the seniors and that they want, they want to win. Absolutely, and more. It's, uh, uh, a few of these freshmen and the newcomers are showing me more than even I saw in them uh, when I watched them play. So that's letting me know that they're getting better every week. Who's your leader? Right now it's Jeremiah Martin. Jeremiah Martin is a leader. Kareem Bruton is right there, though. He's a guy that's just he, he, he's taking on the responsibility as being a big brother and a leader and, uh, and wants to take care of the young guys. 
The team chemistry is as good as it can get right now. I mean, these guys, like I said, the older guys are taking the younger, younger guys under their wings. Hey, this is how, you know, we want to be. There's no, uh, it's us, you know, versus the rest of the country. It's not us against each other. So um, I think the veterans did a great job of doing that. You said you wake up every morning thinking you're happy to be the Memphis coach. And every, there's always a new, like this is the first day of this, the 20th official practice. Is mm -hmm. there any, are you still? I'm ex yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very happy. I'm ready to get into the arena, though. I mean, right now, the preparation, I love that. That's been a part of my, uh, my uh, I guess, my career is that the preparation, I prepare really well. So practices are always great. But to get into the arena, I want to I feel the jitters when I get into the FedEx Forum, if I feel any. I hope I do, but um, I'm, I'm anxious to get there. Well, I hope they understand, you know, I'm doing it for a couple of reasons, for my own health, but also, like you said, to let the players know that we're still working just as hard as you guys. We've been through what you've been through, and we're still motivated to still work out. And sometimes that motivates the players, and I think it has, because they talk to us about it all the time. So, you know, and then to let the fans know what we're doing, you know, uh, on social media as well. So, you know, hopefully that keeps motivating those guys. No, I think guys have embraced it. I think it's new. You know, I think when the season starts, you're going to get some pushback. That's just a part of, you know, and when practice starts, that's just a part of uh, uh, the different personalities. But I don't think I'll take anything personally. You know, I, I, we're, we're in this together. So when you say conditioning, you know, the wind sprints, like what's, what's, what's the Penny Hardaway conditioning workout look like? Man, I mean, today is going to be the old school three-man weave. Um, it's going to be five-on-four, uh, five-on-five fast break. It's going to be uh, – Perfect offense, basically where you got to run until it, it gets perfect. It's, it's just a lot. It's a lot of running. And then we're going to split ends where the guards go to one end, the bigs go to another end, and then we're going to challenge them in those areas. The guards have to do certain things and the bigs have to do certain things. So it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of running. They're going to, after practice, believe me, they're going to go home and go to sleep. What has, uh, like, the biggest impact when you're out recruiting? Is it, like, you being paid and your, your staff and your shoes, or is it my little uh, slamming brings it on I think it's just the uh, the idea or the understanding that Mike, Sam, and myself have played in the NBA, and that's where most of these kids really want to go. A large percentage of them want to get to the NBA, so we're able to get into any home because of that reason. You know, families want to listen to our game plan and what we have for them uh, and their child, and um, you know that gets us in there from you know playing in the NBA. Do you feel confident you're going to get another commitment before the early signing period? I do. I feel confident that we're going to get another commitment before the early signing period. Or, yeah, for sure. Anything new you can tell us about Madness? I don't want to spoil it. It's almost like um, I don't want to overhype it, and then everybody goes and it's a big letdown, which I don't think it will be. But I don't really want to say because I want everything to be a surprise when you see it. Sorry, I don't. And hopefully, it's all that we put into it when you guys get there and go, okay, this was pretty cool. I think we're trying to please everyone, the recruits and the fans, because the fans are our support system, and we need the kids to be here. So we hope that the fans and the recruits are, are pleased. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, uh, on the song, eight ball and MJG, like on the phone with Penny, that's the way to do a represents at home. Uh huh. Has he called you again? <laughs> I have not heard from him, but I'm sure he will be coming to some games. I could, I could, I could count on that. We're going to be inviting a lot of people to the games this year. All right, any other questions? That's good. That's good. Thank, Thank you. you.